prove that the line through a 0 comma minus 1 comma minus 1 and b 4 comma 5 comma 1 intersects the line through c 3 comma 9 comma 4 and d minus 4 comma 4 comma 4. So we know that the line joining through two points say x1 y1 z1 and x2 y2 z2 so equation is x minus x1 upon x2 minus x1 is equal to y minus y1 upon y2 minus y1 is equal to z minus z1 upon z2 minus z1 and now equation of a line equation of a line joining a 0 comma minus 1 comma minus 1 and b 4 comma 5 comma 1 is x minus 0 upon x2 minus x1 that is 4 minus 0 which is equal to y minus of minus 1 y minus y1 by x y2 minus y1 that is 5 minus of minus 1 which is equal to z minus z1 upon z2 minus z1 that is 1 minus of minus 1 so that is x upon 4 is equal to y plus 1 upon 6 is equal to z plus 1 upon 2 and now equation of a line joining equation of line joining c and d the point c is given 3 comma 9 comma 4 and d minus 4 comma 4 comma 4 is given by x minus 3 upon minus 4 minus 3 is equal to y minus 9 upon 4 minus 9 is equal to z minus 4 upon 4 minus 4 that is x minus 3 upon minus 7 is equal to y minus 9 upon minus 5 is equal to z minus 4 upon 0. So to consider the points on the line let us consider which the ratios are equal to some lambda and mu where lambda and mu are real constants. Any point on the line a b is of the form since x upon 4 is equal to lambda so we can write x is equal to 4 lambda and y plus 1 upon 6 is equal to lambda which implies y is equal to 6 lambda minus 1 and z plus 1 upon 2 is equal to lambda so which implies z is equal to 2 lambda minus 1 so we can consider the point therefore 4 comma 6 lambda minus 1 comma 2 lambda minus 1 is the point on the line AB. Similarly, similarly for the point on the line CD, any point on the line CD is given by minus 7 mu so we can consider here x minus 3 upon minus 7 is equal to mu so which implies that minus 7 mu plus 3 x coordinate and y coordinate we can write minus 5 mu plus 9 and z coordinate 0 into mu 0 plus 4 so we will get 4 
so any point on the line is seven minus seven mu plus three minus five mu plus nine and four and for the lines to intersect for the lines a b and c d to intersect they must have common point they must have common point so let us equate these two points so which implies 4 lambda comma 6 lambda minus 1 comma 2 lambda minus 1 is equal to minus 7 mu plus 3 comma minus 5 mu plus 9 comma 4 so these both are equal for which the coordinates we can write 4 lambda is equal to minus 7 mu plus 3 or we can write 4 lambda plus 7 mu is equal to 3 and 6 lambda minus 1 is equal to minus 5 times mu plus 9 or we can write 6 lambda plus 5 mu is equal to 10 and we can write 2 lambda 2 lambda minus 1 is equal to 4 so which implies lambda is equal to 4 plus 1 5 by 2 substitute lambda is equal to 5 by 2 so in the equation here so we'll get 6 into 5 by 2 plus 5 times mu is equal to 10 so we have 3 5 is a 15 plus 5 mu is equal to 10 so we have 5 times mu is equal to so 10 minus 15 is minus 5 so which implies that mu is equal to minus 1 let's verify by substituting lambda is equal to 5 by 2 and mu is equal to minus 1 in the equation 1 so we'll get 4 times of 5 by 2 consider the LHS plus 7 times of minus 1 which is equal to so 10 minus 7 which is equal to 3 so which is RHS so here LHS is equal to RHS and hence we can say that for the values of lambda is equal to 5 by 2 and mu is equal to minus 1 the two lines are intersecting and their point of intersection is point of intersection you can substitute either lambda value or mu value in any one of the point to get the point of intersection both will give the same result this point of intersection uh, let me substitute mu value in the second point so minus 7 times of minus 1 plus 3 comma minus 5 times of minus 1 plus 9 comma 4 which is equal to 7 plus 3 that is 10 and 5 plus 9 which is 14 and 4 so the point of intersection is 10 comma 14 comma 4 you can also verify by substituting lambda is equal to 5 by 2 in the another point